G'day everyone. Day 12, Christmas light dead bulb locator. I don't know about you, but uh, I don't actually have these kind of lights anymore, but uh, I know quite a few people still do, and they're, they're quite cheap. I actually went out and bought these uh, especially for the project, but uh, this project's useful for more than just this, so it wasn't a complete waste, but for $5 I got a little set of uh, 20 bulbs here. And um, it did actually work out of the box, so I had to break it deliberately for this uh, for this video. So the, the circuit's quite simple. Um, it's just a, a FET basically amplifying through a capacitor, whatever it picks up from this uh, probe here. And drives a transistor, which amplifies it a bit, and that drives a piezo. So it's basically an, el an electric field to um, sound converter with a very high input impedance. This is a 10 meg resistor, so it probably doesn't need to be that high, but it works quite well. You can see all kinds of electric fields with it, um, the you know, current varying electric fields in uh, the audio frequency range. For example, uh, let me grab my phone here and turn it on and turn this on. So if I turn the phone on, you can hear the uh, probably the backlight or the um, the capacitive display but uh, for our purpose of finding um, which bulb is dead we can use the noise on the mains that uh, naturally occurs so you can hear it's picking up all kinds of rubbish from the mains at some point it'll get much quieter and change in character so this is obviously the active end that where you know the mains is coming in and beyond the break you've only got a little bit of rubbish floating on the neutral. So I know the problem's here somewhere. It's the last bulb where the signal was strong. Or you can see this wire has clearly got the noise on it, and this wire doesn't. So you can see I've opened it here, and if I close this. Magic, the lights turn on. You can also use a signal generator to inject um, a tone into one end you know, if you don't want to use the mains or if your mains is particularly clean and quiet. Um, we might actually do that as a circuit. This is essentially the um, you know, line tracer or a pair chaser, essentially the same circuit. So some of the commercial ones have a little bit more gain than this, but uh, as a toy and as a quick hack, it's it's very easy to make. And I threw it together in you know 20 minutes or something. I wrapped some copper tape around it to um, just shield it a little bit. It works fine without the copper tape, and if you don't have it, don't worry about it. The the only good thing about putting the copper tape around it is you know that it's picking up the signals only from the probe here. I put a socket there so I can change probes for various um, you know different bits of metal, maybe a little plate or uh, a probe that's more insulated from probing near uh, insulated, uh, non-insulated conductors, but yeah, quick, quick, simple hack. Um, someday in the future, we'll probably do a transmitter to match this that you can clip onto pairs, so you can, uh, you yeah, know, trace Cat Five, see which particular pair you've uh, you've hooked it up to at the other end, which is really, really useful. And also, you can also use it with the Christmas tree lights, so um, or any other circuit that you want to find if there's a broken wire somewhere. Alrighty, super quick one. Uh, ones during the week probably will be quick because I uh, simply don't have as much time because I have to work, but uh, on the weekends we'll get back to some more substantial projects. Alrighty, um, until next time, subscribe, uh, rate and comment. Thanks a lot. Bye.